unique look at life on her farm in Binya Hill has been provided to fans by Nicole Kidman. The 56-year-old Hollywood actress shared her adventures on the $6.5 million property in New South Wales' Southern Highlands on Instagram on Thursday. The Moulin Rouge, the star appeared to be working hard in a set of pictures as she gave bottle feedings to baby goats. The Australian celebrity wore running shoes, a black cap, and active leggings with a black puffer jacket for a casual ill. holiday tasks, she commented next to the pictures. Nicole Urban and her husband, Keith Urban, own an expansive 45-hectare estate in the Southern Highlands that features 10 original marble fireplaces, pressed metal ceilings, a grand cedar staircase, and classic sandstone verandas. Keith and Nicole have added a full-size tennis court, a gym, and an 18-meter swimming pool since purchasing the property. In order to keep prying eyes away, the house is additionally surrounded by enormous mounds of grass. The couple installed a gatehouse staffed by security guards at their Southern Highlands estate, increasing security earlier this year. They received authority to build a $32,450 gatehouse at the Benya Hill Farm. According to the Daily Telegraph, the application that was accepted by Winch Caribbean Council explains why property owners need to have security guards on the premises when they're at home. In a 2015 Vogue video, Nicole answered 73 fast-paced questions while giving a tour of her picturesque farmhouse. The eyes wide shut actress answered questions from a filmmaker as she made her way across the expansive estate and onto the agricultural area in this stunning one-shot, one-take move. Nicole says good day mate, welcome to Australia to the videographer as she sits on her porch at the opening of the approximately 9-minute video. The actress feels that despite the fact that her two homes, Sydney and Nashville, appear to be very different from one another, they are similar in that their inhabitants are what make them most on. She answers some more questions in the library before going into the kitchen and sitting on the arm of a couch in the family room. When asked what she thought was the coolest thing about her house during the brief sit-down, she said, My six alpacas. She then makes her way back through the kitchen and into the dining room where she trips over a toy that is lying on the floor before going outdoors to show off even more of her expansive property. They enter a modest cottage on a property and she admits that if she could have coffee with any historical figure, she would choose Eleanor Roosevelt over Keith as a guest in the tiny house. The aforementioned alpacas can be seen in the backdrop as she moves toward the home's farming area. After that, Nicole takes a few eggs out of a nesting box. The enormous 45-hectare property was bought by Nicole and Keith in 2008 for $6.5 million as reported by the Sydney Morning Herald. Before their 15-year-old youngest daughter Sunday Rose was born, the Australian actress and her husband, an Australian musician, stole the estate in secret. Additionally, Nicole and Keith own multiple properties in the upscale Latitude Building in North Sydney. Three years later, they bought the adjacent penthouses for $7 million and combined them to create a mega-residence. Originally, they paid $6 million for the penthouse apartment from Celebrity Apprentice star Mark Boris in 2009. According to Domain in 2021, the Oscar-winning actress also lavished $2.78 million on a unit in the upscale building beneath her penthouse. The sub-penthouse bat has two bedrooms and a huge balcony with floor-to-ceiling windows lining the living area, providing amazing views of the harbor. The elegant apartment has access to a heated pool, chin, and sauna in addition to a contemporary kitchen. When in Sydney, the Hollywood couple uses their $2.68 million apartment on the 19th level of the building as their home office. Similar to her estate Binya Hill in the Southern Highlands, her four apartments in the Latitude Building are all held under company name. Since 1993, when Nicole paid $81,000 for her younger sister Antonia's one-bedroom flat in Mosman, she has not held real estate in her own name.